So I'm out with my new car setup. Um, since urban sketching is a real tricky business right now, I bought one of these um, steering wheel laptop trays. And so far, so good. It's a little awkward to set up, um, but it does have this little tray here. It slides in and out. So it's pretty compact when it's not on my steering wheel. Um, it's got a slot right here that I could use, uh, I might put a board in there at some point, maybe gator board or a little drawing board if I feel I need more of a surface. So I'm just going to check it out. Okay. So I'm just going to go for a quick sketch. Um, I'm sitting in my car and um, the challenge was time. So. I'm struggling, I have a thing going on with my eye, so I'm struggling to see. But right across the quad here is a clock on a pole. And since the challenge is time, I figured that would be perfect. Uh, it is quite a way over, so I'm just going to squiggle my numbers. I just want to get a feeling of the place, really, rather than an accurate um, thing, because I am struggling to see. I think I have um, a cataract or something growing in one eye. So it's making life a little tricky at the minute. Okay, so this is the thing I came to draw. And a tree right next to it. Very naked tree. Since this is January, I've never videoed in my car before. This is um, a new, a new idea. I don't know if it will work. If it does, maybe I'll do some Facebook live stuff. Let's see how that goes. Could be fun. We have to find new ways to connect, right? Okay, the building starts right here. So trees are not a strong point for me. So I'm planning on trying to draw several of them every time I sketch out and about. Um, we'll see. Oh, it's got a low branch down here. Oh no, that's that one. Oh no, that's another tree back here. Oh my gosh, so many trees. I guess I am fulfilling my promise to myself <laughs> without trying. I'm not worried about them being like absolutely accurate. It's just there are trees there and I just need to show that like this car.
was quite the car that. Oh, maybe I need to practice cars too. This is not going very well. Ah, uh, it's been a while. There's another car parked right in front of it. This car has a lamp post. Building. I think this tray, I'm probably going to need a little, how about that, that might be better, oh gosh yeah that would be better, alright so this is a learning curve, um,
And then down here, there's like a... There's a lot of green. Right, let's go ahead and paint. I'm using my um, portable painter, um, the micro palette, and I think I'm also going to get out something that's new to me as well um, the Graffiti Tint Pan Paint Pocket Set. And I've not used this one yet either, so we'll see how we get on. So, um, urban sketching is drawing on location, sketching what you see, being true to the scene before you, and uh, capturing it as best you can. I think I'm going to use two different brushes. I want to keep the graphite out of my paints, my watercolors. Um. Let's see, let's see what we've got here. Oh, I like that. Oh, this is nice and uh, muted, how nice exactly what I was hoping for. I'd like the um, clock to be the main focus. Here. Because oh, it is still winter and so we don't have a whole lot of um, bright colour. Okay, this is interesting on this paper. This is not watercolor paper. This is a Stillman and Burn. I used it upside down. Zeta series. So it's nice and thick. It takes paper pretty well. And I like it for sketching like this. Um, tint on this paper as well. It's, um, quite pleasing. Let me 
relaxing the dark. I'm liking how um, this paint is actually fading out um, as I spread it out. Uh, I think it would lend itself well to um, a more, well, fading out into the background really. I, I, I don't really, oh see, Maybe I'm wrong, that's quite vibrant. Not at all what I'm looking for. And yet, see I didn't mix enough of it. But I feel it's fine for a sketch to, you know, this is why we sketch, isn't it? In sketchbooks to figure out how these products work how we might want to use them. Um, let's see. Oh, I like that. See, I'm liking, see how it's all um, puddling there? So I'm getting some granulation some interest to the to the black there although that's not really a black what color is that oh it's a steel blue that would explain that oh, I just want to drop a little to the front here with the dark indigo and a little variation because these are supposedly <laughs> I'm not doing a great job but they are oh, covers Um, a little green 
add some grey. Because trees are mostly grey, you know. They're really rarely ever brown. Oh, I like that. That's actually not too terrible in relation to the colour over there. Maybe a little more grey. that can be a little brighter is the stop sign. Right here. It's going to take a little practice, but um, I quite like how where this is going. Now, maybe if we put a little purple in here, I quite like this Derwent water brush. Could do a little shadow under here. more buildings obviously behind the clock here and there's another car and there's some more street furniture but I feel like I want to just call that done because the point of um, my painting was the clock I might just go ahead and well no you know what I'm gonna leave it because I don't have a whole lot of time and uh, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. So if you watch, thank you for watching. If you stay to the end, I appreciate it. Um, I can say I like my tray. I may need to do adjust my seat maybe a little to raise myself up, um, but it's good and sturdy. I'm really liking my Derwent Graffy Tint um, pocket set. I think this is going to be great for urban sketching and this little toy is great <laughs> it is a bit of a toy isn't it look at it probably didn't need to assemble it quite so much but this is um good and compact and uh, my my setup is easy to disassemble and put it away let me just show you how this pops on and off. I 
Basically, it just hooks off and we're good to go. Thanks for watching.